Hello, everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here with WWE Fan 0599. And today we're both going to be covering the Comic Con 2016 trailers. Me and WWE Fan will be covering the movie ones, and WWE Fan will be covering the TV ones solo. The first trailer WWE Fan and I are going to be talking about is the Lego Batman movie. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did want to do a trailer review for the first two Lego Batman movies we got for two weeks in a row a few months ago. But, you know, procrastination can be a bitch. So, unfortunately, I never got around to doing that. <laughs> but I will do – oh, my God. I will do this trailer review to make up for my procrastination. Yes. All right, so – the Lego Batman movie. I'm loving the marketing so far, and this one is no different. I still, my favorite one, however, is still the Wayne Manor trailer where it's Batman and Alfred. Like, just that whole trailer is just comedic gold, in my opinion. But this trailer, nonetheless, it's still a great trailer. We see in the beginning that Batman is just looking at his computer, and Alfred puts on the parental lock on Batman. Yes. So I thought that was very funny. And then we actually see that Batman adopted a kid. He, you know, he dresses up as Robin, and you can guess chaos ensues from there. And yeah, you know, it has the touch of what the Lego movie has. It has very quick humor, and of course, the Lego—I should call it Legomation at this point. It looks really great. The way the characters would move. It looks really awesome. The humor still looks spot on. It's going to be really cool to see Lego Batman have his own movie because Lego Batman is my favorite character in the Lego movie. So to see him get his own movie, it's really nice. That's all I have to really say about the trailer. I think it looks great. It looks really funny. You know, just basically has the style of Lego movie, except it's Lego Batman. I'm sold on it. Oh, yeah, and the ending of the trailer, that was freaking sweet as well. So, WWE fan, your take on this trailer? A uh, very funny trailer, honestly. I really liked the trailer to the movie mm -hmm. because it was just so dang funny. It really was. I really liked this trailer. This was such a funny, enjoyable trailer. Like, this is how a Lego Batman movie should be. Like, just, just silly, over the top, and just so, so great. And I love that they're making fun of the Robin characters because the Robin character, I hate him with a burning passion. And I'm so glad they're making a joke out of it because that's exactly what it is. The Robin character is a joke to me. So I'm so glad they're making a joke out of him with Michael Sarah, And it's just hilarious. And I love it. And especially, especially like when he puts on the Robin suit, he's like, let's go crazy. Let's go like just it's just it's it's funny it really works especially at the end when they're driving the batmobile and he's like where are the seat belts like life lesson number one there are no seat belts and <laughs> and then we see Rob, they back up and robin goes flying and batman's like i'm so sorry i'll have alfred yeah. install seat belts but yeah just really fine trailer really enjoyable you know just, I can't wait for the movie. I think the movie will be a very enjoyable film. The next trailer WWE fan and I are going to be covering is Kong Skull Island. Kong Skull Island, it is, um, well, Godzilla pretty much is the start of the Godzilla Kong universe. So that you could say this is technically the second film because obviously we got Godzilla 2 and then we got King Kong versus Godzilla in 2020. So that's going to be very exciting. And, of course, the last time we got a King Kong film was Peter Jackson in 2005, which is a film I really, really love. So it'll be nice to see King Kong again. And I really like this trailer, honestly, because I liked how it was building up to us seeing King Kong's appearance. You know, we see Brie Larson. We see Tom Hiddleston. We see Samuel L. Jackson. We see John Goodman. You have a great cast here to start off with that. And the cinematography holy crap looks Mwah. it's a work of art looking at the cinematography this intense moment where a helicopter is just crashing down and then samuel jackson says you better tell me what's up because well they're pretty much going to get killed if they don't tell samuel jackson what's going on about king kong and then the trailer just gives us little moments 
and the music rising and rising until that final shot, we see King Kong being six times bigger than we're used to seeing. And I thought that's what made the trailer so good. It's like they were teasing and teasing and then giving us that little appearance from King Kong. And the cool thing is we don't even see how King Kong is fully. It's really like his head that you see. Oh yeah, and John C. Riley is actually in this film too. And you actually do hear like one line of dialogue from John C. Riley in the trailer. You don't actually see John C. Riley. Man, but dang, you is everybody in hear. this movie? <laughs> I know there's a lot of people here. But yeah, you do hear one line of dialogue from John C. Riley. So I thought that was very cool. And yeah, honestly, it looks very exciting. I'm pumped for Kong Skull Island. Kong Skull Island, the movie I'm actually really, really looking forward to because I am a huge fan of the character of King Kong. King Kong is one of my personal favorite movie characters of all time. So, you know, uh, my stance on the King Kong movies, like all the King Kong movies, like mm -hmm. the original King Kong is good, but I really don't think it holds up as well as it used to. Um... And, you know, I haven't seen the ones with, like, Jeff Bridges and stuff. But um, the King Kong from 2005, the Peter Jackson one, was definitely by far to me the best King Kong movie. It was everything I have ever, ever wanted from a King Kong movie, and it yeah. was most certainly great. So, yeah, so when I heard they were making another King Kong movie, I was like, okay, I feel like we really don't need another King Kong movie. But then when I heard... That was going to be a part of the Cinematic Universe with Godzilla. That was like, okay, now you got my interest now. Now I'm really excited to see what they do with this. And yeah, this trailer got me even more excited because this was the definition of an intense trailer. Because just seeing all the like the tribe and stuff, it just looks really intense. And I'm very, very excited for um, Kong Skull Island. I think Kong Skull Island was great. And by the way, Warner Brothers, you cannot fool me. Okay, when you dress up, dress Tom Hilston up as my favorite video game character of all time. Literally, take a picture of Tom Hilston from this movie and a picture of Nathan Drake from Uncharted 4. Literally, it's both the exact same outfit. Come on now, Warner Brothers, you can't fool me. But anyways, I really do think this movie does look like, look great. And it's definitely one of my uh, most anticipated movies of next year. Okay, guys, so the next trailer we're going to be covering is Dr. Strange. Uh, what was that? I don't know. The, I the, the, like dear God, Tony, what, what the... What, <laughs> you want us to be on a cringe compilation or something? What the heck? Hey, honestly, if I end up in one of those compilations, I'll feel honored. I'm not right <laughs> now. <laughs> All righty, then. Now, when it comes to the teaser, you know, as far as the teaser goes... I do think it did do its job well of teasing you, but just as a trailer, my opinion, I was just like, okay, all right, all right. I wasn't really blown away by it, besides maybe a few visual pieces at the end of the teaser. I know WWE fan is nodding like hell right now, but yes, I just thought it was, all right, it's a teaser. But with this trailer, Well, it's done again, fool. <laughs> shit. This trailer is awesome. I, wow. <laughs> what did I watch? Seriously, this trailer blew me the fuck away, guys. Wow. Honestly, yes, there are so many great trailers, but it might be my favorite movie trailer. Like, I'm really, really thinking about it. It actually might be my favorite because of, how much it really blew me away. The visuals, wow. Just unlike anything I've seen from Marvel in terms of the visuals, it looks amazing. Just all of these magic tricks you see Doctor Strange creating. I, I, so I don't mean to interrupt you, but boy, we're going to feel like we're on crystal meth while watching this movie. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it does feel like you're... <laughs> It does feel like you're on crystal meth watching this trailer. I agree with WWE fan. And, of course, you see, you know, Rachel McAdams. You see Tilda Swinton as Doctor Strange's trainer. 
and the ways of mastering his powers. So I thought that was very cool. The music is great, and I think it is going to be very well directed. And it definitely just looks different for a Marvel film. Like, I'm definitely very pumped of where they're going to take Doctor Strange, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be Marvel's Inception. Like, this is going to be Marvel's Inception, especially when you look at some of the imagery it does remind you of Inception. I wouldn't be surprised if Marvel got a little bit of inspiration from Inception with the visuals and stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. The teaser had me going from, eh, to, okay, I'm on board. I'm on the hype train now. I want to see Doctor Strange as soon as possible. Woo! Okay, there you go, Your take. Okay, Doctor Strange. Now, a movie I've been very, very interested about because um, I won't say I know fully about the character of Doctor Strange. I know some things because um, if you remember the uh, straight-to-DVD animated film, The Invincible Iron Man, if you got that movie, there was a free comic inside about Doctor Strange, and that's why I really learned about the character a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was really cool. So when I heard they were making a movie about him, I was like, okay, cool. So this should be interesting. Movie about magic, sorcery. This will be definitely something different for Marvel. And then Bennett Cumberbatch got cast. I was like, perfect. This is perfect. He's perfect for the role. And it, it, he definitely looks exactly like Doctor Strange. He really does. And I saw the first teaser. And I, was, I was immediately blown away. I was like, this is going to be, especially the, the soul punch thing. I was like, man, this is going to be, very, very something different from Marvel. And then we have this trailer, right? Mm -hmm. Loved it even more than the teaser. This was awesome. Like, especially, the thing I can't wait for the most with this movie is indeed the magic and sorcery. Yeah. It definitely seems like it's going to be mind-blowing as, you know, as ever. It really does. I love it. It's just so awesome. Like, you know, him seeing him, like, master all of his powers and stuff, just really, really cool. It looks visually beautiful. And by the way, do people ever learn? They're getting, they keep on saying, oh, this is going to be Marvel's first failure. Guys, you said that with Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant-Man, and look what happened with those two. So, at this point, why are you doubting them? <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know Doctor Strange will be a hit. And uh, one more thing, I love the joke at the end of the trailer where, like, uh, Julia tell Edgy forehands him, like, this paper, and he's like, is, is this my mantra? And then Julia, Julia tell Edgy is like, no, the Wi-Fi password, not savages. <laughs> Just a <laughs> perfect way to end great. the trailer. That was great. Because sometimes <laughs> trailers are great, and they end it with the punchline, you're all like... Yeah, you should have just ended it with the title. But no, in this case, it was actually perfect. Yes, exactly. All right. Now let's talk about Wonder Woman. Holy <laughs> biscuits and gravy, this trailer was amazing. Holy moly. Sorry. Uh, th th thank you. Okay. I was about to say what WWE fans said, actually. But yes, this trailer <laughs> is freaking awesome i love this trailer you know with batman v superman it did tell it did show us like a picture of a uh, wonder woman chris pine and the other crew so it's like a prequel story which i like we're gonna see where basically what life has been for wonder woman before she basically got to meet batman and superman so i think that's very cool and of course chris pine uh, it's going to be nice to see him in a DC movie as, you know, a lot of actors these days tend to be in either a DC movie, Marvel movie, heck, even in both. So, you know, it's nice to see Chris Pine here because I'm honestly a very big fan of Chris Pine. And of course, Gal Gadot, she's just going to kill it as Wonder Woman and the fight choreography. Wow, the action scenes in this movie look freaking epic. Just how they're shot just how the choreography goes. Like, even the slow-mo. I know people complain about slow-mo. Um, I'm fine with slow-mo as long as it's handled in a very, exactly. I guess, as refreshing way. as long as way. it's handled well. Yes. Not Legend just... of Hercules, where it's just no. every single second, it's slow-mo. <laughs> oh, God. Do not bring up Legend of Hercules, please. <laughs> but, yes. Uh, and I think the slow-mo actually does look like it'll be executed well in Wonder Woman. Uh, the music is great, and I just love how the trailer cuts to Wonder Woman, the symbol, 
and then it shows the title, and it plays the music that we heard in Batman v Superman that... So yeah, Wonder Woman, I'm impressed. Can't wait to see it. And now WWE fan, your take. Holy biscuits, okay? Listen, this movie, yeah, RIP headphone users. Uh, anyways, yeah, this trailer, holy moly. Listen, what I saw, like, in my subscription feed, it was, I th it was like, after I was done uploading my review for Ghostbusters, I was, you know, I just went onto my subscription feed, and literally one minute, it said one minute ago, one Wonder Woman trailer has been posted. Like, it was like one minute ago. I have me, I have a click something so fast in my entire life i don't think because man yeah. i watched it immediately when it was posted and dude i felt like the kool-aid man man i was running around i was like oh yeah like i'm just i'm pumped out of my mind for this movie this looks incredible and what did it for me was the action scenes the action scenes just look awesome this this looks like this movie will have incredible incredible action maybe the best action the more uh, the marvel the dc films have ever seen like i mean just everything looks incredible and i just can't wait to see it i mean everything from the action when she uses the lasso man i almost man i almost flew up in the sky when i saw that like and the way they, and the way the lasso would light up that was sweet. yes and uh you know chris pine who i really liked as an actor i'm i'm glad that he might finally have a movie that is successful that isn't Star Trek, finally. Because yeah. I feel like the dude has been really just underused. I feel like a lot of people kind of underestimate him a little bit. I feel like just they they just don't really... That his movies don't really make the most of money. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, look at like stuff like Jack Reacher or This Means War. Just movies... You movies mean uh, Jack, Jack Ryan. Jack Reacher. I'm losing my marble thing, man. I'm losing it. <laughs> God. Okay. Yo, know, move with movies like Jack Ryan or like um, you know, this means war, like movies like that, you know, just they just don't make as much money. I feel bad for the dude because he's a really good actor and he should just I feel like he will finally have a movie that isn't Star Trek <clears throat> that will finally be a hit. Yeah. And uh so yeah. Um I did like at the end where it like has the music playing and shows the Wonder Woman logo. That was epic. And I didn't really like the joke towards the end. I felt it's not like with Doctor Strange where it was like, yeah, they showed the title, but then they had an epic punchline. This kind of had a pretty awkward punchline. I didn't really but think But I thought it was executed in a funny manner. But I, I, I didn't really. I thought it was just awkward, like really awkward. Right. But yeah, but yeah, Wonder Woman – uh, I'm pumped for it. This looks incredible. Now we're going to be talking about the Justice League um, trailer. <clears throat> All right. So when it comes to Justice League, of course, I'm pumped. And all I got to say is it's whatever. You can have the rest of the spotlight. Just, yeah. Excuse me for uh, Mr. Party Pooper here. This trailer, oh my goodness okay listen this is going to be incredible listen i know we've said this about the last two Zack snyder films and they've been very divisive but i think they'll finally listen i think listen i think he finally has gotten his head out of his butt listen i love man of steel and i really enjoyed batman v superman but if he really wants this cinematic universe to be successful he needs to really get his head out of his butt and really listen to what the fans have to say and i think he really did because by this footage that we've seen it looks like mm -hmm. it looks really awesome yeah by the way i was just joking you guys i'm actually gonna give my review um but no i yeah i know a lot of people are excited about this uh i'm so excited for the movie just so you guys know just the trailer especially compared to wonder woman mm -mm. No, I don't hate the trailer. I like what the biggest positive I could give the trailer is that it looks more fun. You know, they're trying to go for a more fun vibe. I definitely like that. And the bit with the flash in the trailer, 
that was great. That was definitely the bit I really, really liked from the trailer. That was definitely the highlight. Now for my cons with the trailer. Everything else other than the flash bits <clears throat> felt very out of place in my opinion. It just didn't have the right execution. And the music choice, whatever music they were using for that trailer, that did not fit for the trailer in my opinion. Especially once they showed the Justice League title like brown, 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 brown. And I just like, man, it has these abrupt cuts, and that's something too. The editing isn't that great in some parts of the trailer too. Uh, then now to give my thoughts, I'll actually, I'll actually be the positive one. Okay, I'll, I'll be with everybody on this. So sure, yes, it is. Just listen, this I respect Tony's opinion. It's cool. We're cool. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come to his house with an axe and chop him to death like Patrick Bateman or anything. <laughs> but I will say this: yes, I did love the trailer. It was. Everything I wanted to be the only thing I was I was disappointed with, and this I guess will sort of be a spoiler for Batman v Superman. So yeah, for those that haven't seen it, for those ha that haven't seen it, so this is gonna be a spoiler for that movie. Is that now I kind of wish they didn't kill off Superman because it feels. Listen, the Justice League. I know everybody says, "Oh, Batman's the best." No, 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 no. Batman's secondary. Batman takes a back seat to Superman. Okay, listen. Superman is the man. Okay, listen. I don't care what anybody says. Listen, I love Batman as well. But when it comes to who's the king of the DC universe, it's Superman. Superman, Superman, Superman. So, I'm sorry. The Justice League is nothing without Superman. Okay, so this felt really awkward without Superman. And that was another problem I had with the trailer, too. It felt so awkward. Like, they're, they're assembling the Justice League, yet the best person in the Justice League is not even there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just hope he's not absent throughout the movie. That's all I hope. I hope, like, I was uh, I was chatting with someone, uh, and I hope he does, and he made a good point. I hope he returns like Gandalf did in uh, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Like, it's like he just ris rises up, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's probably my only big problem with this trailer is that it did feel – I felt like it was missing Superman. And it really was noticeable. But besides that, I, I, I love this trailer. This was everything I wanted from a Justice League trailer, especially, like you said, the Flash <clears throat> stuff. That is probably the thing I'm looking forward to the most is the Flash stuff. Barry Allen reminds me like a lot of, like, Peter Parker in a lot of ways. <laughs> yeah. Because they're both similar in terms of their, like, quick, witty humor and just the personalities. I'm definitely, definitely excited for the movie. All right, guys. Well, that covers all of the movie trailers. We're not, we're not doing one for King Arthur or Fantastic Beasts. But I think other than that, we pretty much cover pretty much most of the trailers from Comic-Con. Yeah. So... I just want to say thank you very much to everyone for watching this. Comment down below your opinion on these trailers. And thank you, WWE fan, for covering these movie trailers with me. Yes, thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for letting me come on your channel and doing this uh, Comic-Con movie trailer roundup with you. Anytime, man. Discussing each of these trailers. So, yeah, have fun time. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome, buddy. So, you guys, this is 22 Tiger Dude here with WWE <clears throat> Panel 599, and we'll see you all later. Peace. Peace. Tiger Power. Yeah. yeah. What did it for me was the action scenes. The action scenes just look awesome. This, this looks like this movie will have incredible, incredible action. Maybe the best action the Mar uh, the marvel the dc films have ever seen honestly i i'm calling it right now i think this could be the best marvel uh, the <laughs> <laughs> for the love of god man man you gotta put this in the bloopers you really do please, please if you do bloopers for this oh god i dropped something <laughs> if you do bloopers for the love of god please put this in <laughs> Well, this is going great. Well, yeah, this is going wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is going wonderful. All right. Okay. Okay. 
Now let's try to keep a straight, straight pace now. Okay.